Hi there, Jim Kinberg cooking for Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery today. I've got a fun recipe in front of me that I'm going to be demonstrating for you. Uh, we're calling this buttermilk drop biscuits with jalapeno peppers and Ellsworth cheese curd crumbles. So we're going to get started with just some simple all-purpose flour. We've got two cups of it in front of us. We've got a half a teaspoon of baking powder. We've got one teaspoon of baking soda. We've got a teaspoon of sugar. We've got just a pinch of cayenne. And we also have a teaspoon of salt right there. So those are our dry ingredients. What we're going to do is just kind of whisk those dry ingredients together. The next step is to incorporate the butter. That's kind of the secret to this recipe. Um, what I've done is basically frozen the butter beforehand and then just taken that to a grater so you get those fine little shreds of butter. We'll cut that right in there like so. You don't want to overmix the flour. You don't want to bring out the gluten. You just want to get the flour to kind of bind with the butter. Okay, so it almost is making like little pea-sized uh, little dough balls as the butter and the flour kind of incorporate together. So butter and flour have been combined. We're gonna add our cheese curd crumbles. Kind of mix those again. Now we're gonna add our jalapenos. I've roasted them over an open flame. Let them cool down and I took that charred skin right off them. But I wanna leave the seeds in. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the spice. If you don't want the spice, you can remove the seeds and it'll be a little bit milder. And now it's just a rough chop. So we want about three tablespoons going into this recipe. So that was three medium-sized jalapenos. And last, we're gonna incorporate the buttermilk. This is also very cold. And one of the secrets of this recipe is keeping all those ingredients cold. That's gonna give us a nice, light, fluffy uh, buttermilk drop biscuit. And once again, do not overwork this batter. Just stir it enough to bring everything together. All right, so we've got our dough prepared. You'll notice I have a small scoop. This is approximately a one ounce scoop. That allows these biscuits to bake up really quick and it keeps them nice and moist too. I think with a one ounce scoop is the perfect balance of size to moisture. And when we got those great cheese curd crumbles inside, and also the jalapenos to help keep them moist as well. We'll do about 12 of them. Just like so. We're ready to go in the oven. All right, oven is preheated to 425. We're gonna shut that door. We're gonna come back and check it in about five minutes. It might take up to eight minutes, but what we're looking for is that nice golden brown crust and they're cooked through, fluffy in the center. All right, let's check and see how they look. So it's actually been about eight minutes and you'll notice they are definitely golden brown. They've crisped up on the edges and I think we're ready to go. So the last thing we're gonna do while they're still warm right out of the oven, just a little light brush of some melted butter on top. It's just really gonna set them over the top. All right, so just a little bit of butter on the top. And we are set. So like I mentioned before, a great addition to any home cooked meal, but also definitely applicable for multiple restaurant applications. There you have it, the uh, drop biscuits incorporating some Ellsworth cheese crumbles. See how nice and fluffy they are. And they're absolutely delicious. Thank you.